This week on Country Music Junkies, I am pumped to be speaking with Oakville, Ontario native Anthony Tulo. Anthony, how you doing? Hey, Patrice. I'm, I'm doing great. How are you? I am doing super well, thank you. Even better now that I'm chatting with you. I want to kind of introduce our listeners to your music. I'm sure many of them have heard your music before, but for those of them who haven't, let's kind of take things back to your start in country music and when you decided to make this a career. Well, my start in country music goes back a few years, actually. I was, uh, prior to that, I was uh, doing well in the, in the acting world. I'd done feature films and leads and, you know, hit the big screen. And then from that point, I uh, had written some music for film and immediately got involved in, in, uh, in the country music business, probably. I'm going back a few, few years for sure. And that's where it all started. That is super cool. And now, why, why country? Why that genre? Uh, truthfully, because I was, I was um, you know, I'm a classic rock type of guy, you know, come back from the days of Mellon Camp and Brian Adams and all that. And uh, that influence music is still in my writing, for sure, will always be. But I didn't have the range, you know. I mean, who has Brian Adams' range? So uh, somebody had thrown, thrown me a comment and said, you've got a country rock type voice. And I said, I love country rock. And I thought, okay, well, there's my answer. There's where I should be. That's the lane I should be in. That is super cool. Now, you mentioned Brian Adams. I know you've kind of been compared to him before. How do you draw from your influences? Are there other artists that you kind of learn from and, and draw from their talents? I think I draw from a lot of a lot of artists for many different reasons. You know, um, you take a guy like Bono, I draw from his stage performance and his way of gravitating to an audience. Brian is a, is a hero of mine. I mean, he, his songwriting is prolific. I think he's a gem in Canada. And, um, you know, again, again, uh, I try to take from as many as I can, you know, um, and just remain myself, but learn from them. Absolutely. That sounds really cool. Now, let's talk about your sophomore album. It was released toward the end of 2016, so it's still super hot, super new. It's called Rebel with a Song. Let's talk about that and what fans can expect from that album. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm a bit of an edgy writer, so I mean, I have a crossover between my ballads are much more, you know, melodic and my up tempos are very Brian-esque, like, you know, just very, you know, country rock, with that electric guitar. So I think they can expect energy, but at the same time, uh, sort of a softer side with the ballads. And the album's been very well received. Fans have been terrific. And I always say it, they, they mean everything to me, so. That is super great. Now let's talk about your current single, Gasoline, a uh, really cool song. What can you tell us about it? Well, gasoline um, is just basically just a reference um, toward, you know, you light up gasoline, you feel like you're on fire, and I don't know about anybody else, but when summertime hits here in Canada, that's how I feel. You know, you've got the barbecue, you've got the girls out, you've got the beer, you've got the you, those long, beautiful drives. You just <laughs> feel like you're lit up on gasoline, and that's where the song came from. Now, if fans want to check out your music or find out more information about you, they can go to anthonytulo.com, but where's the best place for them to grab your sophomore album, Rebel with a Song? They can hear it at Spotify. They can grab it on iTunes. It's actually distributed to, I think, 220 digital platforms. Oh, wow. World, worldwide through um, YLS Universal. So it is everywhere, uh, you know, but primarily Spotify, you can hear it. And then you can buy it on iTunes, and you can certainly go to the website, www.anthonytulo.com, and uh, check that out. Very cool. Now, Anthony, you mentioned summer is coming. Must be super busy, I'm sure. What's next for you? Well, yeah, I am, I am busy for sure. The, <laughs> the biggest thing that, that's coming up is the May 5th show here at the Ladome, um, the Ladome main stage here in Oakville, actually. I will be performing there. Um, Nicole Ray will be opening up for me, and uh, and uh, I'll be doing a show there on the Friday, uh, 8 p.m., May 5th. Again, you know, they can buy tickets at uh, the Ladome ticket line, and from there I go off to, to do a little something in Barrie, and then in September I'll be up in Sudbury at the, uh, doing the big festival up there. So, yeah, uh, the schedule's filling up. 
<laughs> That's so. great. Well, again, fans, head to anthonytulo.com. You can check out if Anthony is coming to a town or a city near you. You can also check out his new single, Gasoline, and the sophomore album, Rebel with a Song. Now, Anthony, if fans want to connect with you on social media, can they do that as well? Absolutely, and I love staying in touch with my fans. They know that, so they can reach they can reach me at Twitter, uh, say hello, uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram, you name it. Uh, I'll be there, and I always try to get back to them, uh, you know, as much as I can. Excellent. Well, Anthony, it's been such a pleasure. Thank you so much again, fans. Head to anthonytulo.com for more information about Anthony. Anthony, thank you so much. Thank you, Patrice. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, have a, you know, and have a, have a good one. Cheers.